Hello, welcome to Psych 1115, Personal and Social Adjustment. My name is Dr. Erica Soto. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. I have a doctorate degree in clinical psychology and a people personnel servicing credential in school counseling. I'm going to be your instructor for this class, and I'm so excited to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is an honor. Um, to be able to walk with you through this class. I wanted to take a minute just to one, say welcome and how happy I am to have you, but also, uh, you know, because this is an online asynchronous class, meaning we will never have any live face-to-face -face classes. I wanted you to put a face to my name and assure you that I am here for you 100% um, every step of the way. Okay. I, I, Having an asynchronous class, there are a lot of benefits to it, but I also know that there are some limitations and it could be really, really isolating. And I, I want to offer you a different type of experience. Okay. So today I just wanted to highlight a few main things about the course. I want to do what I can to ensure your success in the course. Um, so as you know, uh, psych one, 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 five is a three unit gen ed um, course intended to contribute to the lifelong understanding category. So in this course, it's probably a little bit different than most of the courses that you've taken thus far in that it's, uh, designed to assist you in your personal life. Uh, we will apply psychological principles to predictable challenges and problems over the typical lifespan and explore opportunities for adjustment and growth in a variety of different circumstances, uh, for example, college life. Um, if you're a freshman, this is a new college is a new experience for you. Um, and just things that everyone experiences like our families. Um, this course is not counted towards the fulfillment of requirements for the psychology major. So um, it's, I teach in the psych department, but it's likely many of you are not psych majors and, and that's okay because this, this information applies across the board. Okay. So I, um, I'm not going to sit here and read you the syllabus because we're all adults. You can do that yourself, but I will highlight the main things that I want you to know. Um, first of all, my office hours are by appointment only. We'll, for this class, we will meet on Zoom. So if you ever need to meet, please don't hesitate to, to reach out, contact me. Um, and I I love the, the best part of this, this job is um, one, I get to learn myself, but also I get to connect with students. That's my favorite part. So please don't be shy. We will uh, work together and find a time that works for both of us. Um, I am pretty timely in my responses. So if you don't hear back within 24 hours, I would say email me again, because for some reason it maybe got lost in my inbox or didn't go through, but you usually will hear back from me um, really quickly. And I typically grade assignments really quickly too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Canvas. I have it on the student um, student view, so you won't see this, but um, that way it's exactly what you will see. So here's our homepage, um, and you will everything that you'll need will be pretty much in these three side tabs. So the syllabus is um, for you right here. You can um, download it. And here's the book information. Uh, the book is required for the class, but the mo the modules is really where, where you're likely going to live. Um, and so I'm actually going to leave student view so I can show you this way. There we go. Um, so you'll want to start here because it says start here and um, more information on just online. If this is your first online class, please, please, please spend some time here. Um, the requirement is that you have reliable Wi-Fi, of course, and a reliable computer. Um, and so you want to, um, first thing I would say is download this lockdown browser. Um, it's compatible with all computers. It's not going to mess up your, um, you know, it's not going to make your computer run slow or anything. It's, uh, it's used very often. Basically it's, it's, um, it's something we have to put in place for, um, online classes as far as tests and quizzes goes. Um, so there's a two minute training video, but it's really simple. If you have trouble, um, you could contact me, but your best bet is probably contacting it because they're the experts, but I don't think you'll have trouble. Um, and then really, um, everything's pretty self-explanatory. I try to design the course to be as efficient 
and make the most sense as possible. Um, so the modules are going to look the same. So I have all of the dates for you here. So the modules start on Monday and on Friday. So everything that you need for that week is in the module. I give you the agenda here and everything that you need is listed. So there's a complimentary PowerPoint. There's a lecture for you. Um, if you're someone who needs the captions, there's, there's the linked um, caption videos here. And then uh, most week there most weeks, but not all weeks, there's a quiz. It's only three questions. Uh, you get 30 minutes. Um, it's basically designed to just obviously test your comprehension and um, it accounts for your participation too. And then you'll have homework assignments. Um, so please read the formatting that I want you to turn your homework in. Um, and when you're ready to turn it in, um, you're going to want to write it on a Word document or um, if you want to convert it to a PDF, that's fine. But you'll click where it says um, download here and then you will add it. Um, it'll give you an option to do a file upload. OK, um, and so that's that's a pretty typical week. Um, and, you know, you could watch the video right in here or you could watch it on YouTube and then and then that's it. Once you're done, it'll say you have completed this module. OK, um, so everything is due by Friday that week at 1159. OK, so let's let's just do an example for week one. Um, you know, we start our semester on the 23rd and everything's going to be due Friday, the 27th by 1159. OK. And then, of course, you could start module two um, the weekend, but um, I want you to hold off on submitting your homework early. I want you to submit it the week that it's due that way, uh, you know, because it's designed that you, you know, are reading the material and then the homework's the last thing you should be doing in the week. So every week pretty much looks the same except for um, the week of your midterm. So the week of your midterm, that's the only thing you have to worry about that week is just your midterm. And you could take it any time between that Monday and that Friday at 11.59. So it'll open Monday the 13th at 8 a.m. And it'll close um, at that Friday at 11.59 p.m. So you could, you're you free to take it at the best time. If Tuesday morning is the best time for you to take it, great, take it then. But please keep in mind that you can't start it and, and come back to it. You have to finish it within one sitting. Um, so the more information on the midterm exam is... Um, the midterm and your final exam is in your syllabus. So make sure you're reading your syllabus because your questions will likely be answered there. Um, and then once it's closed, it's closed. Okay. Unless you have a, a significant emergency, um, you can't go back and take it because you've had the whole week. Um, and that's the same format for your final exam. There's one big project um, and that's your personal growth project. Um, you have the whole semester to complete this, but it's due when it's due. So because you have the whole semester to complete it, um, there it's no late work's going to be accepted. Um, but it's due the 12th, you know, May 12th by 11, uh, 59. And the way you would do it is just, um, some click the submit button and it'll let you submit it and, and then you're done. Okay. Um, so Really what you need to know, remember, is everything that week is due Fridays at 11.59. Every module pretty much looks the same, just different material. There will be some weeks that you don't have quizzes, though, or homework. Um, please make sure to check your homework feedback because I respond. I read and respond to all of them. I want you to know that um, I am really honored to hear your story. You'll see that um, this class is very subjective, meaning that you will share, you know, there's a lot of personal questions that come up. That's the way the class is designed. And, um, and I'm more than honored that you share your experiences with me. And so I just want you to know that, I, Hey, I do read your, your homework. I'm not sharing it with anyone else. It's for my eyes only. Um, but on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Um, on that note, your boundaries are well respected in this class. So if there's a question that just doesn't sit right with you or um, they're not too invasive or personal, but if for some reason it's a sensitive topic, please know that that's okay. You can let me know or choose to write about something else, why it's hard for you. Your boundaries and uh, is are very well respected in my class, okay? Um, so 
anything that I could support you with, please let me know if it's like an IT tech issue, um, the Canvas help, or if it's um, something that IT on CSUSB, the campus can help you with. They're really quick at getting back to you. Um, I do my best, but you know, your best bet is if it's a technical issue to start with them. Okay. Um, but if for some reason it's causing you a delay in your work, of course, let me know. Communication is of the utmost most importance with me. If if you're communicating, if there's something going on um, that's preventing you from, you know, submitting your work in time, let me know and we'll we'll see what we could do. Um, I know that you all have a life outside of Psych One 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 Five. I know that you wear multiple hats. I know that you some of you have families, kids, jobs, two jobs. Um, other classes, I know that life is busy, um, but I do want you to get the most you can out of this class. And I think that you'll find that it's very helpful. Okay. Um, so here to support you, um, I'm here, I'm rooting you, rooting you on and, you know, please don't be a stranger. Um, it's going to be a great semester and I'm really excited to get to know you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.